because organizations around Baltimore knew that infant mortality rates were too high. As a result, those organizations created a unified effort among government organizations, healthcare providers, nonprofits, and business community 
in order to solve the problem. Many of those people had different pieces of the puzzle, but we needed all those pieces to come together to make it work. I am happy to report that since Be the birth of Be More for Healthy Babies, infant mortality has steadily decreased. Yes, let's have a round of applause for that. We have currently reached our lowest point in history when it comes to reducing infant mortality. The Family League of Baltimore is proud to co-lead this initiative with the Baltimore City Health Department. As the president and CEO of a nonprofit that works with partners around the city on many different issues, I consistently emphasize the importance of collaboration for success. And we have had that collaboration here. Be More for Healthy Babies is an excellent example among how partners can come together like the Health Department, Care First, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the Family League, and many more organizations to make us stronger than we were yesterday. Our work was not possible without the dedication of many community-based organizations that have stepped up to the plate to reduce infant mortality. Among those partners are our community members in Patterson Park and Upton Druid Hill Heights. They have helped push out our message and our goals to the families most in need. There have been many successes throughout the year, but let me highlight a few. Be More Fit for Healthy Babies, which helps mothers stay healthy and practice healthy eating and exercise habits at home, was recognized by the United States Conference of Mayors with a $25,000 grant. That grant shows just how effective Be More Fit really is, and it will expand into more Baltimore neighborhoods in the coming year. We've also seen the launch of new safe sleep videos and a campaign messaging to get to more, more and more community members, including the Spanish-speaking men, moms and dads. You'll hear from a few of those uh, safe sleep ambassadors later. We are very proud of their commitment to Be More for Healthy Babies, and we hope that many more of you will be motivated to take those messages of safe sleep to your friends and family. I would like to thank all those involved with Be More for Healthy Babies and their hard work on this campaign, but especially Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake and Dr. Barbeau for their con continued leadership. Once again, I thank you for coming out, and I hope you learn a great deal. Thank you. Once again, give it up for Jonathan Rondeau, President and CEO of the Family League of Baltimore City. That was weak. Can I get some more? Can we get some more love here? OK. All right. All right. I heard some talkers. I heard some talkers over there. I heard some talkers back here. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm about to radio my truck and have them pull it up. And this is not good spinach. Uh, it's not good spinach. We didn't wash it or nothing. So I'm just letting you know. This is what you want to do. This is what we can do here. Y'all want to eat some spinach? <laughs> okay. All right, cookies. I'm going to need for y'all to take a nap. Go down. For the past four years, the BHB initiatives have, has reached the lives of so many Baltimore families like you, of the strong leadership of our mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, and others in the office of the mayor. So we right now, I know I am pleased, and I know you are pleased, so you should be real pleased in joining me by welcoming our very own mayor, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. I was sitting here, I don't know how many times I've come here, but this is the first time we've done this setup like this, right? I don't remember doing this setup with my back to the animals. <laughs> so I was sitting here and I was thinking I might, I was a little nervous because, you know, they could like, who knows what they're doing when they're behind you. 
they could slap that tail and I could get soaked and I don't have wash and wear hair. It would be it would take me down for a couple of hours to, to try to recoup. So hopefully if y'all see them coming near me, I want somebody to give me the heads up, alright? We got a deal? Alright. So I want to thank my health commissioner, Dr. Arcelius Bonveau. I want to thank Jonathan Rondo, the president and CEO of uh, Family League, and, and all of you uh, for being here this evening for this special event. Last year we were here, and at that time we announced, I announced my commitment to reducing health disparities in our city. I was so pleased, and I'm so, I was so pleased at that time uh, to talk about the work that we're doing, and I'm happy again. Because one year later, the good news that we are making strides towards accomplishing our goal is evident. It's hard to believe that just a few years ago, we had the fourth worst infant mortality rate in the country. But that's exactly the challenge we faced in 2010 when we launched Be More for Healthy Babies. Back then, we knew we had to do something that was groundbreaking, innovative, and that would produce results immediately. We knew we needed to work to improve health care services in the city and to increase access to those services. We knew we had to have a stronger presence in our neighborhoods in order to make sure that we communicated the message and we got to the people who needed the services so that residents could have access to the support that is so important during pregnancy and parenting. And we also knew that we needed to bring together various agencies in the city that were already working on this goal. I always believe, and I know that your teachers teach you this in school, that you work so much together when you work together. So the Be Work for Healthy Babies Coalition was formed with the goal of reducing infant mortality in Baltimore. The Be Work for Healthy Babies is a joint effort with the Baltimore City Health Department, the Family of Baltimore, John Hopkins Center for uh, Community Programs, University of Maryland School of Social Work, Baltimore Medical Systems, and Care First, Blue Cross Blue Shield, the campaign's largest private funder. And since 2010, Be More for Healthy Babies has worked very hard to make all of our dreams a reality when it comes to getting this word out and getting education and results to uh, reduce infant mortality. So I have some great news to share tonight. And then I know that you're very excited to get to all the fun at the aquarium. So I'm going to share my news and we can, we can finish the evening. In 2012, the rate was 9 point, the latest figure, excuse me, the latest figure show that infant mortality in Baltimore City has dropped, as, as Mr. Rondo said, to an all-time low. In 2012, the, the rate was 9.7 deaths per 1,000 births. For the first time ever, our city's infant mortality rate has dropped below 10. And, and in the African American community, infant mortality rate has fallen from 14.5 in 2011 to 12.6. And this is truly an important thank you. This is truly an important moment in history, and sometimes it can be hard to make sense of the numbers. So I want to take a couple of minutes to talk about what this record low infant mortality rate means for us. What it means is the difference between in 2009, the year leading up to initiative, and where we are now with such good news. Since the launch of Be More a Healthy Baby, we have seen a decrease in infant mortality rate each and every year. It means that last year, at least 30 families in Baltimore City were spared the grief that comes with experiencing the death of a baby. Even saving just one life would have been a reward. It's wonderful to know that we've helped so many families avoid unnecessary pain and suffering. It means that we can feel confident that we are becoming a healthier city. The infant mortality rate is widely used as an indicator of a community's overall health. And we want everyone to know that Baltimore is a great place to raise a family. It means that we're addressing some of the very real health disparities in our city. In 2009, African American infants were more than three times as likely to die than a white infant. Last year, approximately 40% more African American babies lived to see their first birthday than in 2009. to ensure that all women, all children, and all families have access to evidence
but we are far along, and we're much farther along than we were four years ago, and it's because of every single one of you and the message that you all are carrying. And as you heard Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake say, we've made tremendous progress, but there's still so much more to go. And now I really need you to pay attention. This is the only lesson that I'm going to give today. And so how many of you know your ABCs? Everybody know your ABCs? Okay. So we want you to remember the ABCs of safe sleep, right? A, what's A for? Slate 
Mm. Oh, hello and uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, it is a uh, it is uh, quite an honor to be here uh, with you tonight. And uh, this is my beautiful family, Yesenia and uh, Josué David. I am from uh, Mexico, and um, I've been uh, in the United States for, uh, for about four years. And uh, I'm here to tell you a story about something that happened when David was uh, four months old. I came from work, and um, I fell asleep. And I was sleeping in the same bed with, with David. And then uh, when I passed to sleep, I was feeling something hitting my stomach. And then uh, I didn't pay no mind. I didn't pay no attention to it. Then uh, I fell asleep again. But then something hit me again on my belly. And then when I finally woke up, uh, it was uh, David. It was the baby. And I say, oh my God, uh, I was uh, about to suffocate uh, the baby. And since that day, I say, no more sleeping with the baby in the same bed. Uh, based on, on my experience, I would like to remind uh, all parents to, to make sure that, that all kids, all special babies, they sleep uh, on their on their back, on the crib, and along with uh, nothing on, on the crib like uh, pillows, blankets, or toys, or anything that, that could stop the pain. Thank you for uh, allowing me to speak uh, tonight. I'm very pleased that I was able to share my story, and I hope that it will make a difference to you. Some of you have some family members, some of you may have experienced the same things. 
So please make sure that you get more information about Be Work and Healthy Babies before you leave today. You can always click onto their website, healthybabiesbaltimore.com. You should have a little grab bag that has the information in it. Are we ready to see um, the kickets? 